Hey ladies, it's your girl Tia B and we are finally done. Pretty nails again. See, this is the matte white nail. But before I get into the products that I used for um, this go round, I just want to let you guys know what I was using previously. Um, I've been using this Sally Hansen Hard as Wraps Acrylic Gel. What I do is I put the Sally Hansen Maximum Growth on as a base coat. This is what I was doing previously as a base coat. And then I would add two coats of the color. And then I would put the acrylic gel on top. And then I would use the NYC in a minute quick dry top coat because I'm a little impatient and anything that helps the process go faster I'm all for it so NYC has um, this in a minute quick dry polish in all varieties of colors um, which is really great it actually really dries in a minute no lie so that is what I was using previously, but then I came across this other strengthening gel by Sally Hansen that I really wanted to try. So that is what I have on now. And I also came across this Calcium Shield by Orly. It's a nail builder with calcium and you use it as a base coat. So instead of using the Maximum Growth by Sally Hansen now, I have used um, the Calcium Shield by Orly as a base coat. I did two coats of Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. The color is hard to get. And then I did the Strengthening Gel. Two coats of this. And then we did one coat of the NYC Matte Me Crazy, the matte, magnifying top coat. Did one coat of that. Actually worked. I was a little concerned. Was like, if I put on the gel and then I do the matte, is it going to actually dry into the matte look or is the gel going to make it look shiny but it actually worked but I still wanted to use the maximum growth because I do want my nails to continue to grow so instead of using it as a base coat I did put it under the nail which I usually just put the nail hardener under the nail and around the edges and across the tip but I did the maximum growth under the nail and then I did the nail hardener around the edges and across the tip. And this is what you get. It's a lot. It took a while, but at least I can say I did it myself. Did not do a bad job. I don't think I ever do a bad job. But you guys will see every video. I will show you the end results and everything that I have used. Um... But also, I just want to say that it is a matter of um, a lot of things that you eat that can help as well with nail growth and strengthening your nails. Um, vitamins. I do take a vitamin for hair, skin, and nails, which contains biotin, which is really, really good for your nails um, and strengthening of your nails. And aloe is my key secret. I guess it's not a secret anymore um, I use the aloe plant for a lot of different things on um, my skin and also on my nail I rub it around my cuticles 
every morning you get the plant open it up the gel on the inside I rub it around my cuticles and put it under my nail as well it does state that aloe is good for um, moisturizing your cuticles and with nail growth so I do do that and I drink a glass of milk a day mostly at night before I go to bed so I can like do all its work while I'm sleeping but those are my other key secrets um, along with all these great products so I hope that um, I helped you guys out a little bit gave you some ideas of some products to use and I hope you like them catch me in a week when I will have a different look I think I'm going to do a French manicure next so we'll see how that goes it is your girl Tia B and I did say I was going to have another name for these nail videos so we're just gonna call them nailing it Tia B style catch you later bye ladies